County School District are learning the basics of gardening, but it's not happening through a textbook and it's not happening indoors. It's all happening right here in gardens just like this across the district. One of the main goals of this course for our birth of five students has been to explore how can you bring nature into the learning experience and how can you use um, nature as a teaching tool to teach the standards. I get to plant broccoli, cauliflower, Swiss chard, pansies, do the lessons. My favorite part of the planting is putting the seeds in, then uh, and I also like watching the grow. I think kids love to go outside. I think when they grow something, they're very proud. I think different kids learn in different ways and that sitting at a desk all the time and watching things on a board is doesn't help them learn as much as doing something, eating something they grew, measuring for a garden, putting their hands in the dirt, seeing how a plant grows. From cabbages to herbs and spices, what's planted out here can even end up on the student's lunch table. And now that our gardens have grown and they've gotten to really see the fruits of their labor, then next week for our last Nature Explorers Cup, we're actually gonna have a garden party and the kids are gonna to get to harvest the vegetables from the garden and we're all gonna have salads and, and really um, get to enjoy the fruits of our labor. We're teaching children from an early age that vegetables are important, that vegetables are, um, are good, that they, um, that they taste good, and we're also teaching them that um, their food doesn't just come from the grocery store. We're showing them where their food really comes from. My favorite part is getting to harvest and grow and plant things. So sometimes we donate, donate it to charities and sometimes we get to bring it home and finish planting. When they're at school, they're not just learning their reading and their writing, they're also learning about healthy habits. And so being exposed to healthy food, I think it's gonna be a lifelong thing, being willing to try things, being comfortable with going outside, enjoying gardening, being able to grow their own food are all skills that they can use in the future. Parents are excited about it, I think. Um, we actually had a grandmother um, talking to us the other day as we were leaving the building and she wanted to know what we had used in the soil because she wants to help her kid, her grandchildren grow their own garden. It's been a great family engagement tool because a lot of parents that don't want to sit in a meeting will come and pick up a shovel. And so we've done a lot of community garden days. They're well attended. People come and they help out at their school and help make their school beautiful and they want to do something for their kids. And every year, thousands of hours are logged as parents, teachers, students, and community members all help to make a difference in education and a healthier lifestyle. To find out more on how you can volunteer, contact your nearest school administrator.